Hi, my name is Lieutenant Hopkins and I am here with Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services. We're here today to talk to you and your children about the coronavirus. As you know, children have lots of questions when it comes to things like this. Things they're hearing in the news and maybe hearing at home. So we're here today to help your kids maybe understand a little bit better about what is going on in the world around them. Today with me, I have Betsy the Bear, who has come out of hibernation to help us explain some things to our children. Say hi, Betsy. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> some of you may recognize Betsy from our teddy bear clinic, and she's super helpful in talking to children. Our goal with the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services is to teach kids to be proactive. So today, we're hoping to give them some empowerment by learning what coronavirus is and how it affects them. The first thing we'd like to talk about today is maybe what is a virus? Betsy, what do you think about that? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what a virus is. I, ju I just know that the mask that people wear is scary. Yeah, I know. It is pretty scary out there right now for a child. So we want to explain some things to you. So Betsy, what I brought today is some pretend germs. A virus is nothing more than germs. And these little germs are tiny and they try to get into your body and they can make you sick. So today we have some pretend germs and normally we wouldn't try to touch germs. But today, just to kind of give an idea of what's going on, we're gonna use pretend germs, okay? So a virus is nothing more than like a cold or a flu, something that would make your maybe tummy hurt or maybe your throat gets sore or sometimes you just feel really yucky and you wanna barf right so that's what germs can make you they make you feel really bad so these little crazy guys they get on your body and how do you think they get on your body what do you think Betsy I don't know I just know I have to wash my hands when I use the bathroom yes ma'am you sure do you have to wash your hands before you eat is so important after you use the bathroom if you're playing with toys, things of, like that, you definitely want to wash your hands. And we will talk about washing our hands in just a little bit. So when we're talking about a virus and these germs, these germs can go from my body to your body. And the way that that can happen is either on my hands, like you see here, or sometimes even when we cough. Oh, everyone I know, coughs. Yep, that's a big deal, isn't it? So mommies and daddies and teachers and grown-ups will tell children often, if you cough, we need you to cover your mouth. The reason for that is, is if you cough or sneeze, little tiny germs can come out and they can spread, just like this. <coughs> ah! And the little germs went flying and you see, Betsy, how they landed near you? Yeah, they went far. So now you may have my germs. So when we cough, Betsy, and maybe you can do it after me, we want to make sure that if we cough, we cough into our elbow or our sleeve way over here. So if I have to cough, <coughs> that's a good place to, to catch your germs. Oh, I like this. <coughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you. Now, after we cough or we sneeze and we blow our nose, it is important that we wash our hands, right? And stay tuned, we're gonna, we are gonna wash our hands in just a little bit. I want to talk to you, Betsy, about the masks because you did say that the masks can be pretty scary. Yeah, don't like them. Yeah, I know they're pretty scary for some kids, but these little germs, like we have here, our pretend little germs, they try to get into our body, like I mentioned earlier. And what we do, I will show you, there's different kinds of masks that you may see people wearing out in the public or in the community or on TV, things that you're watching. I'm gonna put my little germs now, down for now, but I wanted you to see, Betsy, it's nothing more than just people that you would normally know that are wearing the mask. Miss Debbie wears a mask when she goes out in public, and I'm the same Miss Debbie before the mask and then after the mask. So I'm gonna show you how I would put it on just like this. I hook it on and now you can only see my eyes 
right? You can't see my mouth anymore, but you can still hear me talk. Yeah, that's right. The reason I wear this mask is to protect myself from germs and to protect me from giving you my germs. So if you think about our little germs that we brought in, these are the little germs and they're trying to get into my mask. So this mask now, they wanna get inside my body, they can't get in because that mask is stopping it. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, am I scary with the mask on? Well, you look different. I do look really different. And sometimes you may even sound a little different, but it's important to know that it's still the same friends and family that you have underneath of that mask. And it's okay to be scared, that's natural. But the more we see it, and the more we talk about it with our moms and dads, the more we're gonna feel better about it, okay? Yeah. Betsy, what I did today was I actually brought a mask that you could try on if you'd like. Oh. Would you like to try on a mask? Yeah. We've got a nice big mask that's made just for you. Ooh, pause. Let's give it a try. Blah. Have you all tied up and your mask is secured? This is bearable. I feel safer. You feel safer? Uh-huh. It doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt at all. Look, I'll even put mine back on. And you know there's different kinds. There's You can have them out of fabric. Yours is actually pretty fashionable. I really love your bear prints that your mama picked out. <laughs> Super cute. Thank you. So we're going to put our mask back on. And I'm gonna wear mine and you can wear yours, right? You got it. Let's put that on. Does it hurt your ears, Betsy? No, it doesn't hurt my ears at all. Yeah, mine don't hurt either. Great. So it's really not that bad, right? No. Good, good job, Betsy. I'm super proud of you. Uh oh, Miss Debbie, I, I need to sneeze. You need to sneeze? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is what you do. You still, out of practice, we're gonna sneeze into our elbow, but you leave your mask on. <laughs> Bless you, very right. good. And you know what? We're still gonna go wash our hands and we may have to switch that mask out, okay? Mama, me too. All right, because we want to get rid of the what? The viruses and the germs. The viruses and the germs, that's correct. We want to make sure that we're staying as healthy as we can. But Miss Debbie, what if I want to give my family big old bear hugs? That is a good question. And you know what? Hugs are so important and we definitely can still hug our mama bears and papa bears and even our brothers and sisters. The important thing to remember is that when we try to get into someone's personal space, so that just space around us, we just can't stay there for very long. So a little saying that you need to remember is give the hug and then get away from that bug because we need to make sure that we're staying away from those germs, flu bugs, and even possibly the coronavirus. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna get in, give that hug, turn our face, yay! And then we're gonna get out and we're gonna get away from that bug. Bye bugs. Sound good? Oh yeah. Yes. Betsy, thanks for coming up for lunch with me. And you know what? Our friend Joe, the weatherman Joe, has decided to join us for lunch as well. Now I know you've already washed your hands, yeah. like we talked about, uh -huh, uh -huh. so you washed your hands, but Joe has not. And we need to talk about how to teach Joe to wash his hands properly. Do you think you could help me with that? Of course. Very good. So we're going to talk about how to wash your hands properly. And for today, parents, we're going to use finger paint and this is a great way to teach your kids how to properly wash their hands and have some fun at the same time. So we're going to start and if we were using soap we obviously would use one to two pumps of soap but in this case like I said we're using finger paint. So we have our hand model here Joe and he has his finger paint on and he's going to start just by rubbing his palms together and his fingers and we're going to get all of that blue all over our palms. And then we're gonna take our fingers and we're going to interlock them and we're gonna kind of squeeze that soap around. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. And then we are going to work on getting that blue paint all over our fingers. So we're gonna get our fingers really nice and blue. In the case of washing hands, obviously this would be soap. So Joey wants you to get those backs of those fingers blue. There we go. And we wanna make sure that we're paying attention to our fingernails. 
fingernails is where germs like to hide. So we're gonna get those fingernails. We can encircle in the palm, um, a kind of tickling the palm you can teach your kids. Um, so there we go. And we wanna make sure that we get those fingers all nice and blue. Then we're gonna go for the thumb, get the thumb nice and blue. And once you're done and you feel like confident that you've gotten everything blue, you're gonna go ahead and take care of your wrist. So Joe's gonna take a good look at all of his fingers before he's done and make sure everything, I think I see some skin parts there, Joe, so we're gonna work on it. And again, make sure that we're taking good care of our fingernails. And once you're all complete, you're just gonna rinse from the wrist down with cold or warm water. It does not have to be hot water. And that's it. And while you're doing this, you can sing the happy birthday song. And that, if you sing the happy birthday song slow, you should only have to do it once. If you sing the happy birthday song a little fast, you'll want to sing it two times. So as Joe is finishing washing his hands, we're going to demonstrate how to sing the birthday song. And of course, you can use any song you'd like, but the birthday song's a really easy song that kids know. Are you ready, Betsy? Let's do it. Very good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe the Weatherman. Happy birthday to you. And don't forget, if you sing slow or fast, you may need to adjust one or two songs. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed. Betsy, we'll see you again real soon, okay? For accurate and up-to-date information on Queen Anne's County, follow our official social media sites.